hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new welcome if you're not new welcome if you're new welcome if you're not new I know I'm a terrible singer. Get used to it. So today I'm going to be telling you guys about five, my five top ways to make a bank in Rona summer. And I promise you guys, these will make you money. Some of these things more than others, but trust. You, even a little bit is better than nothing, trust. This is for all of my college students out there who are stuck at home, not doing anything. And this is for all, all people, to be honest, people who may have been furloughed, people who may have lost their jobs and need some extra cash to go about their life. Well, I highly, highly suggest that you keep watching this video. But first, I want to make a little PSA that I put together for you guys couple days ago because <laughs> let me tell you something I put this PSA with the intention of coming back on camera the same day but um, work stressed me out um, I'm going to show you guys this PSA before we hop right into the video um, before I get into this video I want to address some things with all of you today um, in my last video the first impressions elf cosmetics full face elf video I didn't really mention all that was going on in the world today but obviously being a black woman and a full supporter of the black lives matter movement and a supporter of the peaceful protests um i have like it, it's not even an obligation i need to and i want to address the murder of george floyd that happened last monday it sparked a series of protests that are still going on today um it's the wednesday after but they're still happening it's been a very difficult time for black people let me just say black people black people in the you know in our community right now um a lot of people are upset a lot of us are tired including me and we have to express that through protests i am not a supporter of the looting the burning of small businesses that were already suffering before this i'm not a supporter of that but i'm a full supporter of the black lives matter movement and of um exercising our constitutional right to peacefully protest it's, it really has disheartened me um caused me to be a little bit fearful we need justice for george floyd and his family he leaves behind a six-year-old daughter and that is very heartbreaking because she was robbed of her dad you know probably walking her down the aisle um graduations anyone who can who thinks that they can justify this is is heartless but first we need to educate ourselves um educate our white um what do they call it? counterparts our white counterparts and also our allies because there are many um brown and white um individuals who are our, our allies but they also need to be educated on how to help properly in the proper way and just how to move forward and how to use their privilege um, i.e. white people, um, how to use their privilege to make a change for our community as well. So education needs to happen, reform needs to happen, and justice needs to be served for George Floyd and his family. Yeah, that is all I want to say, but let's get right into this video. I'm going to get into these five things, five top ways to make money during quarantine, during Rona summer, and all that stuff. So I'm gonna go backwards from five to one. And the fifth one, or the first one I'm going to talk about is starting a business. So this is like the easiest and hardest way to make money. So starting a business is basically you come up with an idea of an item that you wanna sell. You have an e-commerce website like Shopify, Wix, big cartel so there are two different ways to start a business first is starting a business from scratch from the ground up 
and basically this takes a lot of time but i do suggest that if you already have a plan a business plan a business idea go through with it so there are two different ways to start a business one obviously i already said is starting a business you take care of the shipping you take care of the inventory and you have to keep track of all of that at the same time and then the second one is drop shipping so if you don't know what drop shipping is it is an easier way to have an e-commerce business so basically what you do you have your idea um, a lot of people drop ship hair lashes gadgets some people do gadgets and at home things so um, basically what you do you have that niche that you want to be in so say I want to drop ship like bundles of hair so I have my idea my overarching business plan then you contact, you figure out who your vendor is going to be and that is a long, long process. You don't want to try and get it over with. You don't want to just go with the first one that you see. You have to do your research and see which one is better. Basically, once you find your vendor, you also start a Shopify um, site. I don't know if Wix does drop shipping as much. I know that Shopify is like the main, Shopify and um, works hand in hand with Oberlo and that is like those are the main sources if you will for drop shipping when a customer is shopping on your store and this is kind of what drop shipping is they purchase an item so you get the orders through I guess your Shopify app or account or whatever and you have to contact the wholesaler saying I need 50 you know loose wave malaysian hair or i need 20 brazilian straight hair 18 inches and they will ship it directly to the customer you don't have to hold the inventory but you have to pay the wholesale price including the shipping cost that will then go to the customer you have to research 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 is so important but I do suggest if you have that vision and you have a plan laid out already, go through with it. Why wait, right? Like just go through with it, see what happens and things like that. If you have an idea but you're not concrete um, enough to actually start a business right now, hone in on that idea. Talk to vendors write notes watch youtube videos on entrepreneurs who have started hair or lash or whatever drop shipping business and get advice get ideas join facebook groups like that all will help you develop your own sense of readiness to start that drop shipping business or just a business at large so that is my fifth aka first talking point so, without further ado, let's get into the fourth, aka second topic that I have for you all to make money during the summer abundance is contact tracing. So, due to COVID-19, there has been a high demand for people to become contact tracers. So, a contact tracer is someone who gets information about who a person with COVID-19 Team has been in contact with to, to try and mitigate the spread. This is on a state-by-state -state basis. I know New York and New Jersey have done it, probably Pennsylvania. I think the tri-state area has is a part of that. I don't know about the rest of the United States or Canada or wherever you are, but I know that in New Jersey, New York, at least, has um, a high demand for contact tracers. You get paid, I think, $15 an hour, anywhere from $15 to $20 an hour. You work basically every day for eight hours a day. You have very little room to make mistakes. But if you're into that, if you're into contact tracing and things like that, be sure to check it out. I will have a link down below. I haven't gotten into it yet, but I'm thinking about it personally. Um, so basically that's how it works why you should do it I mean you're helping your community um, and you're giving the government something that it needs 
your state government something that it needs to mitigate the spread within the state and overall the country of COVID-19. The most important question, how do you get paid? It's direct deposit. So this is a job job. This is like, you know, a real summer job and you get paid via direct deposit or I think they do checks in the mail. I'm not sure about that, but I know direct deposit is usually the way to go in situations like this. So you get paid whatever amount of money based on the number of hours you worked and days you worked every week you get paid on a certain day. If you wanna check it out, again, I'll have a link down below for New Jersey, New York. I would suggest you check the official COVID-19 website for your state, for New Yorkers and for everywhere else in the US. Canadians out there, you know? I don't know if Canada is doing that, um, but I would check the, your, I don't know what they call them, county, or like provinces um, or your city's official COVID-19 website, I would check there and see if they are participating in contact tracing. And if you have any questions about any of these five things, don't forget to comment down below and I will be responding to any and all questions. Trust and believe that. So the third thing that I'm going to talk about today is becoming a transcriptionist. If you don't know what a transcriptionist is, it is basically someone who listens to a video or watches a video and writes down everything that's in that video or types out everything that's in that video. This is a legit job that people do um, and you get paid very well, hunty. So be sure to check it out. I'm, I'm interested in doing it and I haven't checked it out fully, but I did enough research for this video to tell you guys about it. So the two top transcriptionist websites that I know are TranscribeMe and Fiverr. Fiverr is more of like freelancing and people who are freelancing trying to find people to do their job. So sometimes on Fiverr, you'll be asked to like voice over something. So if you have a good voiceover voice, you should do that. Um, sometimes they'll ask specific people who speak specific languages like French, German, Italian, whatever, to speak or voice over something or type something out, be a transcriptionist in that language. If you speak another language um, and you're interested in that, I'll have the link to Fiverr down below. The one transcriptionist website that I know of is TranscribeMe. So TranscribeMe is so easy to set up. All these things are so easy to set up. You basically just sign up, create an account, and you'll be paid 15 to $20 an hour just transcribing those videos. So yeah, it's easy money. You get paid, you can do PayPal. That's the main way. I will link transcribe me down below so you guys can check it out for yourself. I'm giving you all the gems today, guys, to really make some money. So, because that stimulus check, I've been still waiting on that stimulus check and I've just, I'm not getting that stimulus check. So transcribe me is a very good place to become a transcriptionist it's pretty easy you kind of have to be a good fast typer and i'll probably come back and review it once i actually try it out and see how i like it so the second one is user testing my second most amazing way to make money is user testing okay i kind of lied when i said the second most amazing way because this is very highly selective and this is called beta testing. So what beta testing is that there are customers to a specific beta testing app or company that wants basic people, I guess the basic citizens to test out their, um, what do they call them? Prototypes of websites to see what's good, what's bad, what needs to be fixed, what needs to be arranged, and things like that. So basically, 
me as the citizen, as the basic citizen, goes on and beta tests everything. I will be given a couple of prompts that I have to go through, see if they work, see if they don't, what my preferences are for the website, what I do like, what I don't like, what I want, would want them to fix as a company, and send my thoughts in. So the most popular app and um, website to do this on is user testing. So user testing is a beta testing website and app that allows us as basic citizens to um, go on and beta test different websites that are probably going to launch, maybe not, we don't know. It's so easy to sign up guys. I will also have the website down below if you want to try it out, but it's so easy to sign up. You basically sign up with your name, first name, last name, email, um, preferences in life, you know, they ask you a couple survey questions and you set up a profile and you start getting tests. You start getting tests. They recommend to download the app to your phone as well and you can get different tests there too. You get tests, but they're all screeners for the test. So this is the kind of con side to user testing. It is that if you're not of a certain background, and I don't mean like ethnic background or racial background or whatever, or religious background even, I just mean a educational background or an interest background that they're looking for, they're not gonna accept you for the test. So some things that I've gotten is about like real estate, is about like software designing, and I don't do not any of those things, right? So I do things mainly with entertainment, beauty, um, hair, but most of the um, surveys that I've done deal with apps and streaming apps that they want to do. Um, that they want to launch. You'll be given a screener and if you don't make it, that's okay. There are always, always, always more screeners coming in on your phone and on your laptop to take and see if you are a good fit. So if you're a good fit, they'll take you right into the test and you have a task. So basically what you're meant to do is to go through each task and think out loud. You need a headphones that have a microphone so you can speak out loud what, where you are going, what you're doing, what is not working, and emphasize what is and what isn't working because they want to know your feedback on the prototype that they're trying to put out. How much do you get paid, right? This is the question. You do all this work, you don't get many screeners, um, you don't get many tests, but how much do you get paid? On the ones that I've gotten, that I was able to do, you get, I got paid maybe $10. But some of them pay $30, some of them pay $60. But again, you have to be of a certain background to participate in those tests. So I hope you guys are able to get those 50, 60, $30 ones, but um, expect to do a couple of $10 ones first. But yeah, this is kind of all dependent on luck really like it's highly dependent on luck and what your background is since it's obviously different from mine but that that my people is what user testing is you get paid through your paypal so you need a paypal account to link to the user testing website you'll get paid by a week after you've taken the test so like give it seven days for them to listen to it, to process, to see if you did it well, and then you'll get paid your money. So my last final tip, the overarching tip that I have for you guys to make bank during Rona sum summer is <laughs> delivery. Do delivery guys yo delivery has made me hundreds of dollars um in the past month i highly highly suggest it i do delivery with doordash which is what i will be talking about since i do doordash but 
there is Uber Eats, Grubhub, Postmates, Favor, Instacart, so many platforms that you guys can participate in. I know DoorDash, they have like a wait list and sometimes if in your specific area there are a lot of dashers, they might not accept you into DoorDash. What you will need is a car or a bike or just a means of getting around town. Um, so that is what I highly suggest for you all. So I'm going to be talking about DoorDash. I'm not going to talk too much about it because I'm going to come out with a video later on, um, a little bit later in the month about DoorDash and how I've done on DoorDash. So just, just, just hold on, hold on. Okay, I'm not going to spoil it for you right now. Basically, a customer places an order with the restaurant. The restaurant will contact, contact. The dasher will get a notification from the restaurant saying, hey, you got to go to this restaurant um, because they have an order waiting for you. So obviously, the more orders, the more money that you make over time. Any of those orders will vary from $350 up to like $20 because it depends on tips. So $350 or $475 is like the lower end so you probably won't be getting a tip or you'll get a cash tip. But the higher ones are people are tipping um, just over the DoorDash app. So you'll accept the order, you go pick it up and then deliver it to the person's house, workplace, wherever. So that is basically what DoorDash is and how it works. You get paid around $15 to $20 an hour. On good days, you get paid $20 an hour. How you get paid, you get paid through direct deposit. You link it, link it, wait, hold on, link it to your checking account. You'll get paid anywhere between Monday and Wednesday. So I know I get paid on Tuesdays usually. And usually the weekends are great times to work, obviously because people are always ordering out. And other times, which I will mention in my DoorDash video. Sometimes it will glitch on you. Um, I suggest that you have like unlimited data because my data done ran out and it has glitched on me in the past two days so i highly 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 recommend doordash just saying i will also have a link to doordash down below um if you guys want to get started it's very easy to sign up and they do it in the united states and canada as well so all you canadians out there you have no excuse you can sign up too um i will also have the links to uber eats grubhub favor instacart and postmates down below as well although i don't use those apps i suggest that you check them out especially if doordash rejects you because they have too high of a dasher volume in your area so those were my five five top ways to make bank make no let me not say make bank make bank in rona summer and during this weird time that we're in i hope you enjoyed this video please don't get to like comment and subscribe and click that notification bell every time wait click that notification bell now so you get updated every time i upload okay yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you all in the next one bye guys